I felt pretty good. Um, I had a good week of practice. Well, everybody had a good week of practice, and it kind of felt good coming back out. How do you feel after nine games this year? Can you compare it to how you felt after nine games? <laughs> I can tell you this, that I feel a lot better than I did last year. I can tell you that. What are the differences? Kind of, you, you laughed at the, the question, which is understandable, yeah. because I mean, last year you were pretty banged up around this point. But what exactly. are the differences of how you felt last year to this year? Um, over the years, I mean, last year, I was, I was like, after the game, I would do a lot of cramping up. And um, I changed the way I ate this past summer, so I actually have a lot more energy and I'm feeling a lot better just the way I – just changed the way I, I ate. How do you feel right now after playing in the game, after not playing in one of the last two weeks? I'm pretty sore, but um, Coach Brown gave us a day off to really get our legs back up under us and so we can attack this week. Is there any talk right now amongst the team of – Knowing the fact you went out, are you going to share that Sunbelt title? Um, we know about it. We're just trying not to um, think ahead. Right now, we're trying to think of Coastal Carolina right now, just being 1-0 and this weekend. How hard is it to kind of get everybody to focus on that instead of what the actual season goals are? I mean, we're still going to have locker room talk, but Coach Brown and the staff, they do a good job of getting us back level-headed. Last couple of weeks have been we've seen in the field house, the one and zero on the TVs. How big, I guess, it was a motivation is that when you walk down in there and see that everywhere. That's um, just not to think ahead. Just think about the week you got in front of you. I think you tied the record this week for rushing touchdowns. Correct. Is that, yes. Total, 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 total touchdowns. Total touchdowns. Total touchdowns. Overall touchdowns. You mm -hmm. tied the record. Um, is that in the back of your head? At all, I mean, just to be amongst one of the great Troy Trojans I've walked. Not really. Um, say, like I said, at, like like I said last Thursday, Adam does a good job of reminding me that I'm that close. I don't really pay attention to it. I'm in high school. I wasn't really a big stat guy, so it kind of have a toll on me right now that I I really don't be paying attention to it until I guess I break it. You went from walk-on to you got a scholarship this uh, off-season. Now you're a co-starter this week in mm -hmm. this game. Just talk about what this year has been like for you. Oh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, like you said, going from a um, walk-on scholarship is a world of difference. Uh, this year has been it's, – it's been nothing but fun. Uh, kind of passed my expectations um, from a standpoint of playing as much as I do. I didn't, really, I didn't know how much I would play. Uh, I figured I might be in the rotation, but getting this much playing time has been, it's been a good, good year. Coach said you've really taken advantage of a lot of opportunities put in front of you. How important is it when you said you didn't know if you, how much playing time you would get to make the most of it out there? Oh yeah, well I mean every, every, uh, every week the coaches put a good game plan in for us and they give us opportunities to make plays and we just have to go out there and execute it. And, uh, it's just it's it's meant a lot to you know have the opportunity that they that, that they've given us to go out there and perform. So well, on a lot of our blitz packages, your number gets called a mm -hmm. lot. Uh, when, when you see that coming, to, what does that mean to you? Because you've had a lot of success getting to the quarterback. Right. Yeah. Well, with, you know they like to use us in a lot of ways. Coach Vic, he's very creative, <clears throat> very creative, and what he does with schemes and everything we. You know, try to find different different things every week that we can put pressure on and stuff like that. But I, I like getting after the passer. It's, it's pretty fun. Just pin my ears back and go get it. I like it. What's the mindset of this defense every week? Hell in Idaho, who's a, a good rushing attack at just 2.8 yards a carry, having to give up more than 24 points in a game. What's the mindset of this defense week in and week out? We, we like to stop the run, first of all. And we, like, we, just, we, we, play, we like to play hard um, and physical up front. Stop the run, and then the guys on the back end will take care of their business. But uh, we go in every week. We want to get after the offense. We we want to make them not want to play anymore. Uh, we want to make them on the sideline say, "Man, I don't, I don't want to go back out there. I'm tired of playing those guys." Indians are nine and one. They're going to take oh, yeah. them this week. Hey, I hope so. They got some good athletes, so hopefully they can be successful. I think they will. Trayvon, first off, for you, you're going back home. This week, South Carolina. Yeah. Home, uh, just 
What's it going to be like going back there and playing again? Um, it's going to be a blessing. Uh, I mean, I don't really, I, I don't really often get to go and play back at home, so it's going to be a good feeling to go actually be back in my home state and playing, and so close to home. How far is your home from there? Uh, Myrtle Beach is like an hour and twenty minutes from Charleston, so pretty close. This defense is, you know, I talked about earlier, but the backbone really of this team so far. Do you guys kind of accept that role? Um. Yeah, we do. Uh, you know, we like to go out, put put the uh, go out on the field and put put the offense out early, so you know our, our offense just can take over and put up points. So yeah, we we take the role of being the backbone of the team. I think uh, coach had six sacks this past week. Were you guys happy with that? Against Idaho, just what's the mindset week in and week out for this defense? Um. Ultimately, we we go to stop the run. And, um, you know, when we stop to run, teams usually start to pass a lot. So that's when we go in and start getting sacks and stuff. So that's where most of the sacks usually come from. Last year, Baron Poole was honorable mention all Sun Belt Conference. This year, you guys are pushing each other at that position. How is that beneficial to you guys, to you? Um, it's real beneficial for real because uh, Poole, you know, we compete at practice, you know. We try to make each other better, correct, correct each other on any anything we messed up, any mistakes, you know, if we need help with plays. So that's been real beneficial, you know, me and Poole, real close, real close guys. So we get along real well. It really don't matter who starts, who doesn't. At the end of the day, we still playing for Troy. So go out and get a win for the team, do what we got to do, play our part. Now, Brooker's from South Carolina, too. Did y'all mm-hmm. kind of grow up near each other, or where, where was he from in comparison? Or- no, uh, so there is actually from Spartanburg, South Carolina, which is like three hours from Charleston. He's up by uh, Clemson. But uh, we met actually in the Shrine Bowl. We played in the Shrine Bowl, uh, in, I think it was the 2014 one. And um, we met there first, and then we met again at uh, the All-State uh, selection. And then we found out we both committed to Troy, so then we became close, and then we were roommates ever since. So. Got to show them around. This week, tell the hot spots. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, this defense hasn't given up more than 24 points in a game. One of only four teams in the country to do that. What's the mindset with this defense when you guys step out on the field? Uh, well, our coach, Vic Conan, basically said he wants us to not let the offense gain a yard. So that's basically our main focus. And uh, we just go out there with the mindset that we got to get stops put uh, Silvs and Chum and the rest of our playmakers back on the field as much as they can. There was so much talk going into the season about the offense. The defense was kind of the afterthought. Now you guys have become the backbone yeah. of this team. How have you kind of taken that inside? I mean, we always believed that we could do it, you know, just because we didn't have, you know, all the hype around us didn't mean nothing to it. We just stayed humble, stayed focused, and stayed the course. And now we seeing the fruits of our labor. We still got to get better and keep progressing. There's three games left in this season. Uh, Coach Brown said just taking it one week at a time, but is there anything in the back of your guys' mind knowing you went out as a Sun Belt championship waiting for you? I mean, that's the goal, but at the same time, we can't accomplish that goal if we lose another game. So we got to handle uh, Coastal this week and then rest up next week and then get ready for Texas State and uh, Arc State, and then hopefully we'll accomplish our goal, getting the championship. Big concern going into the season was the depth at linebacker. You got a lot of young guys coming in. Mm-hmm. How proud are you as a senior at how well these younger guys are played? I mean, it's just a, a testament to how hard we prepare, how hard our coach Summerall has helped us uh, prepare for this season. And those guys ready to play, like just because they're freshmen, they, they was they came in ready to play, ready to learn, and they've been doing a great job stepping up. Say if I need a breather or if Tron needs to get out. The uh, Wizard Hunt and Nixon, they're ready to play. Smile, AJ Smiley too, so they're they're doing good.